Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9 7 in class again today, how have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to use Global Mapper to convert your coordinates that are in um, latitude and longitude to their um, respective or let's say corresponding um, projected um, coordinates, right? Good. So we have um, a set of coordinates that um, are in lat and long here yeah. we want to convert it to what utm coordinates right good using them um, global mapper so this is the global mapper software the first thing is to what open the data files then um, navigate to the folder where you would have saved your data right good so we are working on a folder called um, lat long to utm using global mapper and then this is the data we want to use good so we have what the um text file import options right good so this is the data data underscore dot csv now the import type is actually points only ensure that um, you know the type of data you are importing we are importing only points right good so you can see the preview right good we have them um, some points and then um, the coordinate order is actually in what is still not in that's about what um, maybe longitude latitude right good then the format is um, decimal degrees, right? Good. So um, not um, degrees as degree minute and seconds or these other formats. We have them in decimal, which is the default, right? Good. So another important um, option to note is the coordinate delimiter. Remember, it was saved as what well, the CSV file. So if you are not sure, you can leave it on auto detect. But if you are very sure, you can select what the delimiter. Since the delimiter is what comma. But when you click on either space or semicolon, you can see what your files are now concatenated and you can now see the separator, which is what comma, right? Good. So let's um, use comma or we use them um, auto detect, right? Good. So I haven't set some of these basic um, options. We can just click on OK. Now there's a pop up that um, the projection is unknown the projection is unknown so we are going to um, identify the projection right now we have what um, geographic which is latitude and longitude um, that's actually the projection because we are trying to move it from this um, geographic to projected so it does not have zone the datum is wgs 4 the units are in you know, what act degrees and then the rest of that so we click on ok and you can see it has been imported right good we can actually take out this label so let's see we don't want to display and then let's apply that and okay good now we have our coordinates or let's say the points that have been imported in geographic right good you can see from the display here that we have what um, wgs 4 and then the coordinates are in their decimal degrees and in degree mint and seconds right good now for us to move it to the projected crs let's come down to tools and then we go to configure now under the configuration we come down to projection and then remember the default or let's say the projection with which it was imported is um, geographic but we want to now reproject it and then export it as what a projected um, um coordinate that i projected crs right good so instead of using geographic let's use utm so just use them um, you on your keyboard to sort down to utm then you identify the zone the coordinates are actually in zone 33 of what the utm then the datum is still wgs 84 the units are no longer act degrees they are now in meters right good so these are some attributes so let's these are some parameters right good of this particular zone you now apply it has been reprojected and you click on ok so now the coordinates you have here are no longer in what them um, lat and long but they are now in what you can now see the the crs has been changed you now see utm zone 33 not the datum is wgs 4 and then the coordinates that we are in decimal degrees of lat and long are now what in let's say eastern and northern of what the utm zone 33 right good so now the next thing is for us to now what export these coordinates so we come up to the file we right click we go to layer and then we go to what export layers to a new file 
now the select term export format we are definitely going to use what csv click on ok the tpi is still reminding us that the exported data will have what the current and um, projected um, coordinate which is what the current currently selected display projection right good as a projected so we have what the csv um, export options the file separator is comma which is the csv then the coordinate precision use them default precision based on unit or you can use a specific number of decimal digits so if you want the exported coordinates to be in three decimal places or maybe four or five you can actually select it here right now the coordinate formatting format lat long coordinates with a position display format these are some other options if you would want to use them you can just them um, check them and then see how the options appear how the results appear rather when you have exported what your csv now the coordinate column names definitely your x will be what your x that's the easting or the longitude your y will be your y that's the northern and the what the latitude right good then the elevation is constant because there was no projection on the elevation right good so we have the attributes field option so you can just leave some of these as default ensure that if you make any change you click on apply before you go to ok we still have the tiling and then we still have the export bound we are actually exporting all the loaded data right good so I haven't done all of those you can just click on ok now we are back to the folder let's call this um, UTM2 right good remember there is a video on the channel where we've used them um, QGIS for the same process right good so you can check out the video the video the link to the video will be on the description section you can compare the coordinates yeah the coordinates of the UTM coordinates right good you can compare the UTM coordinates that are generated using um, QGIS and also using global mapper to see maybe their difference i've actually done that and i can see that their difference are up to let's say is it lower than millimeters at some point some are even up to minus five like um, exponential yeah 10 is power minus five so you can also check that out so we have what um, utm2 csv we just um, save that now the points have been exported we need to assess it good so we have what the x the y and then the unchanged um, let's say um, elevation which is z right good you can do away with them um, these other fields since we don't need them and then you have what the xyz of those um, other latitude and longitude that you have imported to or to global map to convert to their corresponding projected coordinates right good so um, don't forget to compare maybe watch the video using QGIS and then compare the results these results very simple just create a formula equal to this minus the other one and then the result should be in 0, 0.0000 something right good so thanks for coming to class and we hope and we've provided solution to this particular GIS or solving related problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye